Canadian border guards remain on high alert tonight. Two desperate and dangerous escapees from an upstate New York prison are still on the run. U.S. authorities don't know where they are, but the fugitives could be in Canada. The massive search for David Sweat and Richard Matt has been expanded. Two convicted killers being hunted by hundreds of officers on the ground. Thomas Dagla is in Montreal tonight with the latest for us. Thomas. Peter, the manhunt has been going on for 72 hours, so there's no telling where these fugitives are. In sleepy upstate New York, police are everywhere, stopping traffic and keeping guns drawn with sniffer dogs and a helicopter overhead, all looking for two dangerous men. David Sweat, convicted in the murder of a sheriff's deputy, and Richard Matt, who kidnapped and killed his former boss, cutting off his arms and legs with a hacksaw. Both escaped from this maximum security prison, 40 kilometers from Quebec. I just hope they don't come this way. I'll try and avoid them if I see them. I know what they look like now, so. I'm sure they have a place to go already. Some, some people help them, I'm sure. Hemingford, Quebec sits right by a border crossing. It's surrounded by woods, potentially a good hiding spot. The mayor hopes the fugitives never make it this far north. We also have a lot of security along the border uh, with the RCMP that, that patrols the border regularly, whether it be for trafficking people or trafficking drugs or whatever. Authorities believe the two used power tools to cut through a steel wall, crawling through a catwalk and down to a tunnel, breaking a brick wall and cutting a large pipe to escape through a manhole. The big question now is, how did they do it? I would be taking a close look, not only at the guards, but at who's doing that construction. Construction had been ongoing at the Clinton Correctional Facility, and today police reportedly questioned a female prison worker in connection with the escape. New York state troopers say they've come up with 300 leads. Uh, I would be shocked uh, if a guard was involved, and that's putting it mildly. Uh, but we're looking at the civilian employees now and the private contractors. American and Canadian authorities all say the fugitives could be anywhere. So in upstate New York, neighbors are taking extra precautions. So immediately uh, I locked, made sure I locked all the doors, made sure the windows were secure. Knowing the fugitives could be just around the corner. The RCMP tells CBC News if they have reason to believe these men crossed into Canada, then the public would be the first to know. But tonight, the Canada Border Services Agency has put all its members across the country on alert as two violent killers remain on the loose. Peter. All right, Thomas, thanks very much.